Denmark's King Frederick and Queen Mary celebrate new reign with balcony kiss for crowds. New pictures show King Frederick X and his family happily waving to the crowds from the balcony at Christianborg Palace after becoming the new rulers. Prime Minister met Fredericks and announced Frederick as the king from the palace balcony. Thousands of people gathered to celebrate this historic moment in a kingdom where royal traditions are mostly symbolic in today's democratic era. Frederick stood beside the Prime Minister in a special military uniform, and she read the announcement three times, as per tradition. The new king was joined by his Australian-born wife, Queen Mary, and their four children on the balcony. The crowd sang the national anthem spontaneously. Many people celebrated outside the palace after Queen Margrethe II officially passed the throne to her popular son. This marked a significant event as Queen Margrethe is the first Danish monarch to willingly give up the throne in nearly 900 years. The ceremony took place at Christianborg Palace in Copenhagen, a historic complex that houses various important institutions. King Frederick expressed his hope to be a unifying leader. He received congratulations from King Charles III and Queen Camilla, who sent their very best wishes. The new king's motto for his reign is united, committed, for the Kingdom of Denmark. He emphasized the importance of trust and expressed gratitude to his wife and the people. The royal family, in a horse-drawn coach, left Christianborg Palace amid cheers and church bells ringing. They later appeared at their Amalienborg residence, where the king expressed thanks to the cheering crowd. The abdication leaves Denmark with two queens. Margrethe retains her title, and Frederick's wife becomes Queen Mary. Their eldest son, Christian, is now the crown prince and heir to the throne. Queen Margrethe's decision to step down was unexpected, as she cited health issues. She had major back surgery last year and returned to work in April. The news surprised even the Prime Minister, who learned about it just before the announcement. The Royal Guard's music band paraded through Copenhagen in red jackets to mark the special occasion. Australians also joined the celebration in Copenhagen, expressing joy that one of their own, Queen Mary, has a relatable background.